this matches me this well. Wow. Hey guys, how are you doing? I hope your day is going great. In this video, I'm going to be using products by She Glam to beat my entire face. I got their Skin Fluenza Full Coverage Foundation Balm. I got a cream blush and I got their lip oil. So I'm going to start first by applying the lip oil. This is what it looks like. I've been using this for some time now. And my lips are really dry. I don't know if you guys can see, I have a bit of redness here. I don't know how that came on. Since I didn't get the primer from this brand, I'm going to use a different primer. I'm just going to put like the names of products I use in the description box. So make sure you check it out. So I'm done applying primer. I'm going to go in with the foundation balm. I have never used a foundation balm or a cream blush in my life. This is going to be my first time. It came in this pouch. And this is it right here. Okay, packaging. So inside the box, there's a leaflet here. This side, you get introduced to the product. And on the other side, you see how to use the product. How to use, gently rub the surface of the foundation with your fingertips in a circular motion for it to emulsify and activate the moisture in the foundation. Two, use a foundation brush to slightly dip into the foundation balm and apply evenly onto the skin. For fuller coverage, apply additional layer. I'm gonna open this up. I forgot to tell you guys what shade I got. I'm using the shade Camel. I don't know if it's going to fit me. So this is what the shade looks like. So this shade is neutral and I actually tend to go for foundations that are neutral for my skin. Sometimes it matches, sometimes it turns out gray, but I hope this one matches. The brand said you should warm up your the, found, the foundation band with your fingers. So I'm going to do that. Ooh, this is creamy. I'm going to swatch this one so you guys can see. I want to blend this little one to see how far it can go. I don't want to go too much. Okay, so I have my foundation brush here. This is such a good match. I'm going to do this side and I'll take you guys outside to see what it looks like with natural light. Just so you see, I haven't even gone deep. It's so lightweight on the skin. I still don't feel like I have a product on. You guys just saw how good this looks. Um, the time right now is 2.24. So because I haven't actually used, you know, a balm before, I'm not going to go in with any concealer. I'm going in next with the cream blush. No leaflet, the main packaging. With the experience I've gotten from the foundation balm, I'm just going to use a damp beauty blender to tap the blush slightly and see this feels more velvety so the blush is right here yeah mm. this smells nice as well so i'm gonna apply on the other side i think i went too much on this side i'll be able to fix it i'm going to go in with the foundation brush and i'm going to tap on top so I'm going to go in with setting powder. I'm going to be using my favorite setting powder of all time. I'm going to be using this powder puff. I got off Sheen as well. It comes in um, a pack of five. So nice to apply setting powder with it. 
And I'm just going to use the setting powder on my entire face. This looks good from my end. I feel a little bit powdery. I'm going to use a brush to buff my entire face when I'm done. Using this shade. So guys, this is my finished look. I ended up not setting my face with um, a setting spray. So this is just after using the powder like I did and I buffed with a powder brush. Then I did my um, brows, eyes, lips. It's just lip liner and gloss. I applied a bit of highlighter and that's pretty much it. All products I used will be in the description box. I totally did enjoy these products to be honest. I actually didn't expect this from Sheen. Don't get me wrong. I didn't expect this foundation balm to be this good. I highly recommend this if you want to get like an affordable foundation balm. I think um, Danessa Marix has one, which I am yet to try. I still don't know if I want to purchase that one because I wanted to. So for now, this is my guy. If you can get your right shade, pick it up. This particular blush is creamy yet velvety. And when it comes in contact to your skin, it goes sort of matte i can't wait to see how this will look like in about three hours and maybe six hours three hours later 5 29 so i haven't done any blotting everything looks good i feel like if the weather was a lot hotter i probably would have been more shiny that's what i think because right now the weather is kind of cool it's raining and all six hours later 8.30 So you can see that here has no shine, just my cheek Then my chin has shine Here also has no shine, just my cheek So basically my T-zone is shiny I'm not mad at all I'm not pissed, I kind of really like it The fact that it's still lightweight till now makes me like it even more so i'm going to go in with a powder puff to take out the excess shine no powder on it to be honest i've started enjoying this blotting this powder puff because it's really nice when you're like shiny it's just easy for you to use it without any product and take out the excess shine and your makeup will not move that's the fun thing about this and i've been using it for quite a while now that's what went off and the blush is still blushing like it's still intact i really do like the blush this is pretty much what my face looks like after blotting i am in love because i can still go more hours like this is so good it looks more natural than before to be honest chef kiss i love it i look forward to trying this out when the weather is hot like i totally totally dig it i like how my skin feels to be honest it's just soft and nice you're going to get a bit of transfer i don't know how obvious it is but you're going to get a bit of transfer so be careful i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did please give this video a thumbs up like it share it subscribe down below please subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next one Bye guys, thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful, wonderful week.